Hi, I'm Lucia. And I'm Mia. Welcome to an Acton Boxborough News Update. First up, Acton Memorial Library. Lucia? Call it all artists. Each year, the Arts Committee of Acton Memorial Library invites Massachusetts artists to submit work for considerations for exhibitions in the library's meeting room gallery. Submissions are being accepted now through March 1st, 2018 for exhibitions that take to take place September 2018 to August 2019. Sounds exciting. In other news, the library will be offering three tech classes this March. On Thursday, March 8th, the library will be offering a class on how to download free ebooks and digital audiobooks. On Thursday, March 15th, the library is hosting an introduction to Microsoft Word 2010. And on Tuesday, March 20th, get started with Hoopla, a service which allows you to download audiobooks, movies, or music. No costs, no holds, no waiting. And did you know about the library's programs for small children? On Tuesdays, story times with songs, nursery rhymes, and picture books are offered for children ages 24 to 36 months, from 11 to 11.45. And for older readers, the library offers a chance to read aloud to Molly, a four-year-old labradoodle who is a professional therapy dog. Appointments are for 15 minutes of reading time. Molly and her person are both members of the Pets and People Foundation. That sounds fantastic. To register for any of these events, visit actonmemoriallibrary.org. Now for an AB Schools update with Sartok. Thanks, Mia, Lucia, and Maddie. My name's Sartok in ABRHS Sports News. The girls' ice hockey team will next play Reading Memorial on February 22nd. They're currently behind with two wins and six losses for the season, while the boys' team has one win, two losses, and one tie. Things are looking a bit better for the basketball team, though, with 11 wins and 10 losses. They're currently ranked 137 in the state. In theater news, ABRHS will be performing Peter and the Starcatcher for two weekends this spring. You can catch the first evening shows Friday, April 27th and Saturday, April 28th. And at RJ Gray, Stageworks will be putting on Zinc, the Myth, the Legend, the Zebra on May 10th and 11th. No shortage of shows this spring. Now let's head over to Nara Park where Saket has some details on upcoming events. I'm here at beautiful Nara Park where this month the Winter Carnival was a huge success with snow, broom ball, ice skating, marshmallow roasting and more. If you missed it, check out the coverage on actontv.org. It'll be spring before you know it, which means the return of Nara Park's Pavilion concert series, starting off with Friday, June 15th, Chinese Music and Dance Night. Now back to Maddie, Lucia, and Mia. That's all for today. See you next time.